Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button with the bell notifications on the way in. That way we can keep you updated on all of the super high sensitive, time sensitive cannabis and hemp facts, theories, education that come out as we discover them in a long list of technological advancements. We want to keep you up to date. Today we are going to be discussing the medicinal benefits of Delta 8 THC. Now, there are a lot of people out there that are really heavily advocating against and also for Delta 8 THC. So we're going to discuss some of the pros and cons of why, how, and should you make Delta 8 at all. And if you should, what is the purpose of it? So stick around, grab some coffee. This is going to be a short video, but hopefully highly valuable and informational. Let's jump right on into it. Yes, sir. Let's get right on into the content here. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. We are giving away a free cannabis education course to one lucky winner. It is a $10,000 value, and you could get it for free just by subscribing. Okay, let's get right on into it. The medicinal benefits of Delta 8 THC. I am Grim from WKU Consulting. And so I wanted to put out a little um, excerpt that I found from the Harvard Medical Research Unit. And it says as thus, Delta-8 tetrahydrocannabinol, which is Delta-8 THC, a cannabinoid with lower psychotropic potency than the main cannabis constituent, Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, Delta-9 THC, was administered. 18 milligrams in edible oil to eight children, children aged three through 13 years with various hematologic cancers treated with different antineoplastic drugs for up to eight months. Now, uh, the antineoplastic drugs are drugs for... Um, uh, cancer treatment, so they're they're treating them. This is also going on with um, why is my my chemotherapy? So the total number of treatments with Delta 8 THC so far is 480 treatments. They're treating children with this. The THC treatment started two hours before each antineoplastic treatment and was continued every six hours for 24 hours. Vomiting was completely prevented the side effects observed were negligible so here we have children babies 3 to 13 going through chemotherapy treatments and cancer treatments and if you know anybody or have yourself ever gone through these treatments you know the very first symptom of these treatments is extreme nausea vomiting and diarrhea so this is very bad and very painful for especially for these kids think about these kids that are going through these things so on a research platform they decided to give them edible delta 8 thc and in all cases every case vomiting was completely prevented so here is the first piece of research um, that shows that actually the medicinal benefits of Delta-8 are highly probable and absolutely have a place in the medicinal field. If this was the only reason to use Delta-8 alone, I would highly advocate for it. Highly advocate for it. It's keeping children from throwing up and getting diarrhea when they're going through necessary chemotherapy treatments, okay? So this is huge. We're able to provide a symbolism of comfort for kids. Now, 
the side effects observed were negligible. Literally, zero side effects. Couldn't even notice the side effects. Guys, this is huge. I hear all over the globe, people are saying, well, it's a synthetic, uh, you know, it's, it's using bleach and... <laughs> I don't know where these guys are getting their research from. Yes, it is an acidic bleaching clay that is used, but a Delta-8 cannabinoid is naturally organically present in the plant, was a gift from God, and therefore highly beneficial. Like every other organic plant on the face of the earth, it has a place and a purpose. So, let's get into, is Delta-8 dangerous well first off the psychotropic effects are highly decreased when compared to its counterpart delta 9 thc so a lot of people are going this way because the farm bill kind of created a loophole for delta 8 thc to still get you high now guys if you're in this to get high, and I understand some of the getting high market is highly profitable, and I understand that a lot of us are making these oils for the fact that they're being purchased to create a mind-altering substance. For me, however, this is not why I got into the industry 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I got into the industry because I believed in a medicinal and the medicinal properties of the cannabis and hemp plant far exceeding the properties of big pharma medicine like opioids and things like this. So is Delta-8 dangerous? Well, it can be, be but there's two reasons why it's dangerous. And Delta-8 in and of itself is not dangerous at all. The byproducts that are still in the chemical process when you're giving it and putting it in market is highly dangerous. So one of the reasons is it's not cleaned right. Very simple. You can take these things through a CRC remediation uh, and it will be just as clean as snow on the way out or some sort of separatory funnel. If you're just making the Delta 8 and cranking it out, then I understand if sometimes you do not have the chemical processing knowledge available to make sure that what comes out is clean and pure. However, there is a way to clean it. Not processed right. Different ble bleaching clays or acidic bleaching clays that you're getting from some backyard laboratory, dumping into your boiling flask and then just going full speed ahead, trying to find a way around the Delta 9 law. What are your reasonings? What are your methods? And if your methods are medicinal, you should be willing, especially in a GMP environment, to take the extra time. Is it synthetic? No. It is synthetically isomerized by using a special clay or media filtration or other process if you're going from isolate um, or distill it, you can do it differently. So uh, in terms, yes, I suppose it is a chemical synthesis. However, the cannabinoid itself is not synthetic. It's organically present in the material. That's like saying if I made a chemical process to produce ice, ice is now a synthetic ice. It's still frozen water. You, you, and, and I know that's in layman's terms, but maybe you can understand it a little bit better like this. Does it get you high? The psychotropic or psychoactive effects are severely minimal. In some extreme cases, people will tend to feel kind of like a one-shot or one-beer type of mind altercation. However... It does not have extreme psychotropic effects. If you are looking to just smoke this and get high, you might feel a little bit more relaxed, but you're not going to hallucinate. The things that I've seen on these forums are just extreme. I'm like, what did you guys put in there? Because that's not Delta 8 whatever you are smoking. 
So I just wanted to take a couple of seconds to share this with you so you can get this information out for your friends. You can Google this if you want to learn how to produce Delta 8. We have some videos on that. We also have a cannabis extraction education course that will be coming out full-fledged in December of 2020. This year, guys, it's going to be huge, the first of its kind. We're going to teach you everything Everything that there is to know about processing, extracting, post-producting, post-producing, and everything in between. Color remediation, THC remediation, pesticide remediation, how to get the purest, cleanest, most refined product on the market from myself, who is an expert and has been doing this for 10 years. So share this with your friends. It is huge. There's research coming online. Some of the effects of tests have been negative because of what they have tested. However, the stigma behind THC, if you guys remember not that long ago, was extremely high. It was considered dope. It was considered a drug. And now we can see the medicinal benefits. So we must get this information out to people so that they can begin to do research that will be accepted by the public. Because as far as medicinal value in one singular plant and the variety of methods that can be done to use it in a medicinal value, it's probably the only plant of its kind and a fiber in a textile. So the benefits are high if your only job is to not get high. That's all that I have for you today, guys. I hope that you're having an awesome day out there. Staying safe, be blessed, and we will see you on the other side. Have a great one.